Trading212 is one of the easiest brokers to use on the market. Both their mobile and desktop apps are streamlined and make investing as simple as it can be, compared to many of their competitors at least. But investing isn't exactly simple for a newcomer. If you're booting up Trading212 for the first time, having never invested before, or only dabbled here and there, there are a lot of things that might confuse you. So this video is here to walk you through and simplify the basics of using Trading212 across all of their different account types. Also, everything will be timestamped below if you want to jump to specific sections. And you can get a free share worth up to £100 by joining Trading212 via the link in the description. Or by adding the promo code FIN, that's F-I-N, after depositing at least £1 into an investment account. When you initially download and open the Trading212 app, you'll need to create an account and verify your identity just like you would with any other broker or bank. When accessing the app as a new user, you'll be given different account options depending on the country that you're based in. Many users will see options for an Invest account and a CFD account. In the UK, users will also see accounts for Stocks and Shares ISA and a Cash ISA, and all account types are completely free to open. And I get it, this might seem like an overwhelming amount of options just to invest your money, so let me quickly run you through what each account type is used for. We'll start with the Invest account, which allows you to invest into stocks and shares, ETFs like S&P 500 funds, commodities like gold and silver, and more. If you're in the UK, you can use the Stocks and Shares ISA instead of the Invest account, and this will allow you to invest into everything without paying any capital gains tax or dividend tax, as long as you're within your annual ISA limits. Seeing as I live in the UK, I use the Stocks ISA, and it'd be stupid not to. So if you're also from the UK, you should definitely be using this account rather than the Invest account for its tax benefits. Based on current tax rates, if you made 200k profit from investing over your lifetime, you'd owe around 40,000 in tax. There's literally no reason to not try and avoid that if you can, and it's 100% legal of course. Regardless of where you live, Trading212 charges no trading fees or platform fees when investing into these accounts, and you just have a small FX fee for currency conversion when buying shares or funds priced in foreign currency. Every broker charges this, and Trading212 seems to have the lowest FX fees on the market at the time of recording. Throughout this video, just assume the Invest account and Stocks ISA are the same thing, because the functionality for investing is almost entirely the same. Another account that will only show if you're in the UK, Trading212's Cash ISA, allows you to earn interest on cash that you hold inside of it. It's just a savings account inside a tax wrapper, so no tax on profits, and has had market leading interest rates since launching. Inside this account, you will have your interest paid daily, there is no fixed term that you need to wait to receive interest on your cash, and you can deposit and withdraw as many times as you like with no repercussions. The CFD account allows you to trade with leverage, also known as margin trading, which allows people to take larger positions than their balance allows. You can short stocks, so bet on the price going down rather than up, and you can generally make more speculative calls. The CFD account is one that we personally don't use here at Financial Interest, and this is because CFD trading is far more volatile, and most people lose money in this area because the maths aren't on your side. Despite the fact that we don't use it, and most people will lose money in this area, I'll still walk you through the basics near the end of this video in case you're certain it's something you want to do. Once you've chosen the account type that you'd like to open, you might be hit with a pop-up asking you to choose a ready-made pie or create your own. This depends on the account type that you set up, but this isn't something that you need to worry about right now, we'll get onto it a little bit later in the video, so just hit close. The first thing we're actually going to look at is depositing. You will be prompted to deposit some money after closing the pie pop-up, or alternatively you can click on the menu and then click deposit funds. You will need to deposit at least £1 into an investment account to be able to claim your free share with the promo code FIN, so it's worth starting here. You have four options when depositing. Instant bank transfer, bank transfer, card, or Apple slash Google Pay. The instant bank transfer and bank transfer options are completely free to use with absolutely no limit. Whereas the other two options will start to charge you a 0.7% fee after you've deposited £2,000. There's no reason for you to incur this added charge, so if you're depositing less than £2,000, then use any deposit method you wish. But you should try to use the instant bank transfer going forward. It's the easiest way to deposit anyway, as you don't need any card details, and it's free. 
You'll need to link your bank account before you can actually transfer any money. And to do this, you'll just need to follow the steps on screen, which makes it all very straightforward. After that's all sorted, you should be able to deposit as little as £1 whenever you like. And these transactions will be done through TrueLayer, ensuring the safety of your money. So now you actually have some cash inside your account, it's time to look for your first investment, as long as that's something that you've decided you're 100% comfortable with. But it's not exactly as simple as just finding a stock or fund and investing into it. Well, actually, it is as simple as that. But you need to know what you're looking for first, and it always seems way easier than it should the first time you invest. You'll probably wonder why you found everything so confusing before. By far the most confusing thing I found when I started my investing journey was actually figuring out how to invest while navigating through all the numbers, graphs and different options on screen. But it's not as complicated as it may seem. If you click on the search icon, you'll be able to access all the different stocks, funds and commodities under different categories. You have things like most popular and biggest risers, alongside subsections for different business sectors and types of investments. From here you can look through to try and find an investment that suits you, or you can simply use the search bar to find a specific fund or stock that you're looking for. It's important to always do your own research before choosing an investment and to know exactly what you're putting your money into before you decide, or speak with an investment professional. Also, an important note, none of the investments we discuss in this video are recommendations. They're just examples. You can lose money when investing and we are not financial advisors. When investing, you have different options. There are individual stocks in companies like Amazon, Tesla and Apple, which you can search for by just typing their name into the search bar and clicking on the stock. Or if you browse the most traded section, they're usually knocking about there as well. Then you have what are called ETFs, or exchange traded funds, that will track an entire list of stocks and invest into them all at once. These ETFs all have unique and fairly complex names, which may not make sense at first glance unless you know how to decode them. We have a free cheat sheet that I'll link in the description below that might help you with this. ETFs are essentially a way to diversify your portfolio and spread your investment out across a large group of companies, so you're not putting all your eggs into one basket. And they often follow indexes such as the S&P 500, which is the top 500 companies in the US, and the FTSE 100, which is similar, but it's the top 100 companies in the UK. So let's say you decide to buy a global fund not focused on just the US or the UK, but the entire world instead. We'll use the Vanguard FTSE All World Fund as an example. You'll notice that there's a lot of information on the fund page, which might overwhelm you at first, but all you actually need to do to make an investment is click the buy button at the top of the screen. Now, I'm not saying that all of this additional information isn't important. You will want to make sure that you always know exactly what you're investing into at all times, but it's like learning to fly an aeroplane. There are lots of flashing lights, buttons and dials all over the place, but somehow beginners can fly on their first lesson. With plenty of assistance, of course. As you fly more and more, you'll start to understand what the purpose of everything on the dashboard is and how it's significant. But don't be put off by them when you've got someone there to help you do the basics. When you're 100% happy with your investment decision, simply click buy and choose the value of your investment. You can choose to see the amount of shares you're buying or the value of your investment whichever you prefer. Or you can click the number to change from a slider to typing in an exact amount, then click review order. This will summarise your purchase for you before definitively making the purchase. And that's all there is to it. Click to confirm the investment if you're happy and it will place a market order, which means it'll invest at the best currently available market price and the investment will either go through immediately if the stock markets are open or it'll wait until the markets are open and go through then. So if that's all there is to it, then what are the other options that you need to know about? Well, one option at the bottom of your screen, which looks like a pie, is where you can, well, create a pie. A pie is what Trading212 calls a portfolio. A portfolio is a group of investments that you can create to then invest into all at once. And the pie feature is also the option you'll need if you want to invest passively on an ongoing basis, rather than always having to log in, deposit and manually invest in the way that I have just showed you. If you want to create a portfolio or have an ongoing investment into a fund or shares, this is how you do it. Firstly, click create pie. 
Trading212 will offer you a list of ready-made pies for you to copy and invest into, which have pre-built investment portfolios from fund managers. And you also have what are called community pies, which have been created by other Trading212 users, and you can browse through these to see if you'd like to copy their investments instead. We have a full video reviewing ready-made pies and comparing them, so I'll link that in the description below too. If you'd like to create your own portfolio of investments, just click build a custom pie and then click add instruments. You can now browse trading 212s offerings just like you could out of the pie feature. And when you find something you like, you can add it into your basket like you're doing a weekly online shop at Asda. And you can do this by simply clicking add to pie. You can add up to 50 investments to your pie before clicking the arrow in the bottom right to confirm, but for the sake of this video we'll just stick to one global index fund in our pie, as this will cover more than enough individual stocks to give us a diversified portfolio for this example. And it shows you that you actually only need one investment if that's all you want. You don't have to create a detailed portfolio if you don't want to, so don't feel any pressure to select investments you're not sure about. Adding your investment into a pie allows you to set up automatic investments, which means you can set a recurring date for when you'd like your pie to invest and it will take it from your free funds in the account. So if that's something you'd like to do, then firstly set up the recurring investment by selecting auto invest after adding your instruments. A fancy projection graph will pop up showing you the predicted valuation of your investment after the amount of time and money invested is selected. But do remember that past performance is not a reliable indicator of future performance, and you can never predict the value of an investment going up or down. So my best advice is to ignore this projection altogether. On this page though, you can set up your auto investment date by hitting the drop down here and choosing the frequency of your deposits. So for this example, I'll just set the investment to be made on the first of every month to keep things simple. But you can set it to whatever time frame you like, so every three months, every week, whatever suits you. Then you'll need to set up a standing order to Trading212 using your online banking app. You'll want to make sure that the standing order to Trading212 lands in your account with enough time for your investment to go through though. For example, if you set your money to be transferred 5 days before the investing day you set within your Trading212 pie, you'll have accounted for any weekends or bank holidays where the bank wouldn't put the transaction through in time, ensuring that your recurring investment should always go through. So you now know how to invest into stocks or funds using Trading212, but what about if you'd like to sell your investment or withdraw cash if needed? Well, the selling process is nearly exactly the same as the buying process. You click on the fund or stock that you've invested into and click sell. Then input how much you'd like to sell in either the amount of stocks or value of the investment. However, if you're wanting to sell shares that are wrapped up in your pie, this process is a little different. You'll need to hit the withdraw button on your pie, but this won't withdraw the money straight into your bank account. It'll just pull it out of the investment, so it'll still be in your Trading212 account. If you have multiple holdings within your pie and only want to take money out of one of them, select the amount you'd like to withdraw, then click this drop down here to change it to custom. This will allow you to only take money out of one investment simply by moving the slider to be 100% on that asset and 0% on the rest. After you've confirmed the withdrawal, the money will just land straight back into your free funds, ready to either be invested again or to be withdrawn into your bank account. So when it comes to withdrawing that money back out of your bank account, this is also very simple to do. If you hit the menu icon at the bottom of the app and click manage funds, you'll see the option to withdraw at the top. You will need to enable two-factor authentication to do this for security reasons, but once you set that up, which only takes a minute, it's as easy as selecting the amount you want and hitting withdraw. There are no withdrawal fees that you'll incur, and no limit to how many times you can withdraw and deposit, making Trading212 one of the most flexible brokers on the market. One of the perks of using Trading212 is that you can freely move your money between each different account type instantly without any fees included. To do this, go to the menu icon and click on Manage Funds, and at the bottom of this page you'll see a Move Funds option, so click that. Now you can change the account that you're taking the money out of, and the account that it will be going into by selecting the drop down above each of them. Then simply input the amount of cash that you'd like to transfer, and hit Confirm. The transfer will be instant, and you can access the money in your other account immediately after completing. When opening a cash ISA with Trading212, you'll have your homepage where you can make deposits and see your daily earnings and current interest rates, along with a breakdown of your yearly ISA allowance. But just know that this will only include money that you've deposited into Trading212, so not including any other money you might have in different ISAs with other brokers. 
You also have the option of transferring in other ICEs for free, which will be free on Trading212's 2 on end, but your other provider might have fees attached when doing this, so be sure to check with them before you go through with it. If you then click the little piggy bank at the bottom, you'll see a breakdown of your earnings on your investment split into monthly and all time, and then your current stats based on the amount in your account at the time. The payments tab to the right will also give you a full list of all interest payments that you've received, and these will be dated as well, so very simple to read and understand. Withdrawing from your Trading212 2 2 Cash ISA is the same as it would be for any of the other accounts, just tap the menu icon and go to Manage Funds and Withdraw. As with the others, you can do this as many times as you like and will never incur a fee for doing so. I'll quickly run you through how to use the CFD account should you ever want to open an account for yourself. CFD stands for Contract for Difference and allows you to bet on the share price of a company or other asset going up or down without actually owning the underlying asset. So you wouldn't own any shares in a company when using CFDs. You can also trade with what's called leverage and this will allow you to increase the amounts that you're effectively trading with, but this comes with increased risk, volatility and the potential to lose more money than you've put in. On some brokers, you can select the level of leverage you want, but Trading212 2 2 actually have a set limit to the leverage they offer, which will differ on every single asset. To find out the leverage for what you're looking to buy or short, click on the asset that you want to open a position with and scroll all the way down to Instrument Details. Here, somewhere near the bottom, will be a subsection labelled Leverage that will show you the exact ratio that's on offer. You can increase this amount if you qualify for a pro account, but you need to meet some pretty big time criteria to do this, like having £500,000 in your account. The CFD account also gives you the ability to short stocks, which means you're betting on the share price decreasing instead of increasing. All you have to do if you'd like to open a long or short position, or buy and sell, is click on the stock that you'd like and choose between buying or selling and enter the amount that you'd like to purchase. You'll notice that there's a difference between the buy and sell price as well, which is pretty small but can be significant, and this is called the spread. When it comes to closing your position, simply locate the position that you'd like to close and click the small X here. You'll see an option to confirm close pop up in red, and when you click this, you'll have successfully closed that position. Like I said previously, we don't trade CFDs ourselves, as it's extremely volatile and is essentially gambling. So we've explained this process using the practice account that Trading212 provide, and hopefully it was all correct. So there you have the basic fundamentals when using Trading212 to invest with. It might seem confusing at first, but as you can now tell, when you know what to look for, everything is pretty straightforward. For a load more tips, watch the next video that I've put on screen for you now. It includes over 20 different tips and tricks that you can use within Trading212 now that you know the basics.